Hey, you slide, we can body in perfect shape. Yo, hello, it's Povikas from Editing Visuals here, and today I will show you how to make the black and white effect. Let's begin. First, you need to make an adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl Alt Y. Now we can cut it a little bit. Once you've cut it, now you need to add S flicker. Change the amplitude to 0.3. Add transform. Make the scale 140. Add black and white. I personally don't change anything here. For the last effect, add posterize time. We need to talk about what you need to set in the frame rate. When you add posterize time, it will show you the frame rate that you have on your video. You can also check that in the composition settings. So I have 24 frames. What you want to set here is three times lower than you have your composition settings. So I have it set to 24. So I will need to change it to 8. Now, for example, if you had set your composition settings to here you would need to change it to 10 or if you had it set to your composition settings to 60 frames per second You would need to change it here to 20. So I had it 24. I changed it to 8 I recommend editing in 24 FPS or editing in 21 as well If you had 21 you would need to make this to 7 I want this effect to be a transition between two clips So let's go maybe a little further almost 10 frames before and then I'll just drag it here We can extend it even over and add it on top of the other clip and this is the other clip What we need to do now is make a new adjustment layer by pressing ctrl to Y now we just need to cut it up so it's just one frame. You can cut by using Control shift d just so you know. Let's drag it under our black and white layer. We can even call it black and white layer. And on this one frame layer, we need to add invert. If nothing pops up, as you can see here, you need to find a frame where you can actually see the invert. So let's look around here. Nothing here. You can see the invert. This is the frame where we're going to have the invert. It's going to be for like around three frames, the invert. It really just depends on how long your adjustment layer is and on the portion where you put it in. So just find the frame where the invert is seeable. Now we can add the black and white effect to other clip transitions. So we can move to the second clip and then it goes dark here and then it pops up right here. And what we can do is just press Control D and it will duplicate the layer and we can just bring it here. Here I want to make it much shorter because this clip is shorter. You can see the first one was pretty long and this one is shorter. So you can cut this adjustment layer. I think I'm going to go like somewhere here maybe. I'll have it for around five frames. And again, we can copy and paste our one frame invert layer. Let's just find a frame where it could fit. Let's see if it could fit here. As we can see, it perfectly fits on this frame. I have two frames cut out. What you can add actually, press out of that and you can come here where it's this little rectangle tool. Scroll out and just draw this white layer and now cut it to one frame. I really like doing this for transitions. And you can either keep it here or you can actually make this dark and this one white and it will transition to the next clip. You can also add this white layer before black and white effect. It's important to remember that you need to find a frame where the invert works. If you want to preset black and white effect, you can just go to the black and white layer and press on one of the effects and now press Control A and go to animate animation save animation preset i would call it black and white preset and save it and whenever you want it make a new adjustment layer and you need to type here black and white preset and you will have it if you want to spice this up way more make a new adjustment layer by pressing ctrl to y and let's just cut it up a little bit put it below the black and white layer and here i'm going to add effects from our halloween pack one of my favorite effects for this instance is halloween effect 11 i personally think this looks really really cool and when you have the inward it will look like just completely black right here and then it will be normal. This is how it looks. You can also cut it up a little bit if you want so it doesn't just stay on that side and it makes for a really good effect. And it's just one of the effects that we have from the pack. We have plenty more and you could check it out in our editing visuals website where we have amazing editing packs which help you elevate your editing skills. I hope this video was useful. If you have any questions then let me know. If you want to tell us anything or ask questions you could do that in our discord server as well. Alright, have a fun and productive day. See ya!